This tutorial is about Windows Photo Story. Windows Photo Story is a free download that you can download from the Windows site and to find the exact URL just type in Photo Story into Google and the first hit you get will take you to the download page on the Microsoft website. Photo Story is um, a stripped down version of um, Microsoft Movie Maker and so the skills that children might learn using this program can easily be update, up, upgraded to um, the bit, bit more complex program of Movie Maker. So what this enables you to do is it enables you to um, put still images onto a timeline and allows your students to record um, over um, the pictures um, their, their voices so they can explain what, they, what, you're, what you're looking at um, and it's quite a neat little utility. So let's start. You can just, when it when Photo Story opens, you get this uh, these three options here, and we're going to click on Begin a New Story. Now, as I show you through all of this, um, what I'm going to do is just show you how to do one or two of these things. Um, but the best way to learn really is to experiment yourself. The first thing we need to do is to import our pictures, and by clicking on Import Pictures here, um, the by default Microsoft will jump to My Pictures when it finally opens, and you can select the pictures that you require. If you store your pictures somewhere else, you need to um, browse to the particular um, folder that you want to grab your pictures from. For the moment, I'm going to press and hold the control button um, and select the pictures that I want to include um, in this photo story. And you can include as few or as many as you like. I'm just going to include four and click OK. Once you've um, imported these pictures, you can see the pictures in sequence here and um, because they're not the same ratio, aspect ratio to the um, screen, you can actually tidy these up. And indeed, there's a few element um, editing tools along the bottom here where you can rotate, remove red eye, etc. Um, and you can explore those at your, at your own leisure. But I'm going to uh, crop these pictures to make them full screen. And to do that, I'm going to click on Remove Black Borders. And I'll just do it to one picture to show you how it works. Basically, this cropping here keeps the aspect ratio that we need, and I'm going to just crop this section here, and the results that I'm going to see on the My Photo Story are shown in the right-hand panel here. So I'm going to accept that, and it's going to change that for me. Now, I can carry on through all my pictures, and I'm going to cancel now because I've got the one picture and you can see how that works all the way through and you can do that. Now we click next and now what we're going to do is we can add titles to each of these um, pages so I'm going to type angry cat for this first one and again it's written in black text um, it's hard to see but you can, again you can edit these things so I'm going to choose a bold font um, let's come up to here Arial Black, um, I'm going to make it 24 point so we can see it and I'll make it silver and click OK. Now that's easier to see. Now you even can actually control where this text goes on the page, you can left the right line or right a line, um, I'm going to left align it and you can put it at the top of the page but I think it would be more effective at the bottom here. And again you can do that same procedure on each of your pictures so you can actually put a title on each page. You can actually also change um, with these simple filters here you can actually change what your pictures look like so you can actually add some effects to them if you wish to or just select none again great to experiment with and you can look at that at a later point click next and now what we're going to do is we can record the audio track to go um, all the way through our slideshow and I'll do that in a moment but first of all I want to show you how you can customize how your pictures look as the um, or, or, as your audience is listening to the audio and what you can do is actually create a sense of motion from these static images by um, just having a kind of pan and scan kind of effect we're going to start from this top corner here and by the time we finished moving the angry cat will, we will be revealed to full screen so it's like we're going to pull out from a close-up and zoom out wide to see and we can save that and again you can do that through all the way through these pictures here and the same with these transitions um, by default the transition is set to crossfade and you can transition from one screen to another um, let's choose the star it's down here somewhere click on the star and you'll see this transition up here that's how it's going to happen we'll save that as well 
and again you can do that to each of your slides and I'm not just going to show you the once. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to start our recording and what we do is we can click on the record button here and start recording and obviously this first screen is about a cat so as I'm talking about a cat at the moment um, it's obvious that the cat picture needs to be on screen but as, I, as my script changes to fish I can click and now my audio track will be in time with the transition to the fish and again along through here I can now start talking about my spider and then finally I can end up with this wetter um, that I created and when I've finally done all my audio in the background I click stop and if you want to have a look and see how that's looking so far you can click on preview but basically it's one of these programs that's very simple um, to play with and I suggest you really what you need to do is download it and have, a, have um, an experiment when you're happy with the audio you click on next and again you can select background music if you wish to um, and by default again Microsoft will jump to its my music folder and if you've got pictures in uh, or music in there that you want to add as a backing track you can open it and import it etc 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 I'm not going to do that this time but again you can experiment with that again so move on click next and we're at the final stages now and we want to be able to save this and upload it to um, um, something like YouTube or TeacherTube it will save it into a WMV format which makes it compatible with the, both those options that will allow, allow you to then embed your video into a blog or into a wiki um, and so I'm going to save it to save as story to playback on my computer which gives it the best quality I click on next and it's preparing and mixing my audio as we, as we speak and what that enables us to do is to um, have a completely mixed package saved in WMV format and we can just watch this roll through and that's all done and now the next option you get to see is to, to actually preview your video now obviously I'm not going to do that now but um, you can click on preview and also it's probably very important that you save your project which is the photo story project so that if it doesn't quite work out the way that you want to you can come back and edit it so perhaps the transitions don't work for you but you can say you can click here to s click view story um, and when you're f absolutely finished you click exit and in seven or eight minutes that is um, all the basic tools um, of photo story um, it's a great little utility especially um, to be used with um, the young students uh, as I say it's free and it has all the um, skills in it that you can then transfer to Movie Maker or any other video editing program in the future